Hi there guys, Neil Atitali Autos here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. This week we are working on the Punto. As you can see, the rear end is almost complete. And we're gonna be working on the interior, installing all of the insulation. And that was a sneak peek of what's to come. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell button. You've seen me all put the soundproofing and insulation on first, and now I've put some of the dodo matting on the back. And I've got to recommend it, it's really good stuff. It's so easy to apply and it's extremely sticky, so you can just get it straight on there and it adheres to the bodywork nice and tight. So now we've got everything there, I think I've put all the holes in, so now we can put the heater matrix back into place. sure everything worked before I took it apart but what I'm going to be doing is just putting some fresh grease down here just to make sure none of it seizes up just so you can see everything working there So there we go, all done. I do want to put some more in the corner where the pedals are. Um, that is the last bit I want to do, but I want to mess with the wiring first to make sure I get all the wiring behind and I don't have to rip anything else out. I also probably want to put the accelerator pedal in. If I can find it, I've also got to put the bonnet cable and throttle cable through and then we can get everything closed up there. I've put a little bit in the boot area and I've also put a sound matting in the inside of the outer arch so that will reduce some vibrations and stuff. So I'm hoping when it's all back together that there's going to be a lot less road noise inside the car because these were quite renowned, especially in the rear arches. You could hear all the stones popping up and stuff like that from what I remember. So um, I do hope once it's all back together it's going to be nice and quiet. So what's next I hear you ask? It's all that loom in that box, it all needs to come out and all go back in in the order it came out so that's going to be uh, a little bit of fun right all i can remember is that the fuse box goes down here <laughs> so many connections so many wires and i don't know where any of them go i think this is the door so we can put the door one in so that's one done 
all the airbag system, we can put that in after. Again, as soon as I can remember where that's supposed to go. Uh, I'm assuming that this is all going to be here. This is all going to go behind the dashboard. Aha, I've left a bit of writing on there, but can I read it? That's the near side rear tail light. So let's hope that's a bit longer. Yes, it is. So that can go over to that corner there. Oh, okay, we've got two bits of loom. So this is the dashboard loom. If I remember rightly, this goes up here and bolts on there like that. So we get here, we are getting there. We're getting there, we've got a rough plan there. And that's the other door, so that can go through there. That's the, those two little ones here must be for the door alarm sensor. Can't remember what that one's for. But uh, there's an earth as well. So yeah, I've got some remembering to do on putting this back in. I can tell you that now. That's the washer bottle squirter. So that must go to the front of the car. Now I've got the fun task of trying to thread all this through this rubber. So um, let's see if I can do this one. If I can get one through, then we're, we're most of the way there. Hey! So join me in a minute when hopefully I've got this done, but I can see I'm going to have to put a few pound coins in the swear jar. So join me in a minute and hopefully this will be done. Did it. Wasn't too difficult to be honest. It's probably two minutes later and that is all in and on. So now I just need to get it attached on here and then find the original bolts that went on there. to get the sunroof fitted I have greased all the rails and treated any roof which is on it which wasn't very much at all so I'm going to crack on getting this in now Well, the back of the car is almost complete. We've got all the headlining in, we've got the rear seats, the bench is just placed in because of the knee cleaning. I also need to see if we can do something with that bubbling on the material there. But all the rear door cards are in, we've even got a parcel shelf in. So we're gonna leave that episode here. In the next episode, we are gonna be rebuilding the doors, 
we're going to be finishing the wiring loom and putting the dashboard in. Didn't do that in this episode because I didn't have the photos or remember where the wiring loom went. So I want to take the dashboard out of the donor car to give me more of an idea where all the loom and where all the plugs go. So they're all rooted right. So when I put the dashboard in, I haven't got to take it off again to uh, plug something irrelevant in. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I shall see you in the next video.